Kyrgyzstan, or the Kyrgyz Republic to give it its official title, is quite simply one of the most interesting, pristine and beautiful countries in the whole of Asia, offering the adventurous traveller a rich and rewarding destination. My name's Johnny Bealby, I founded Wild Frontiers, and in this short film, I'm going to talk about tourism in Kyrgyzstan. Although small, Kyrgyzstan is perfectly formed. The Tin Shan, or Mountains of Heaven, that stretch across its length and breadth are lush and green, high and wild, dissected by sweeping steplands, primal forests, crystal streams, turquoise lakes and lofty snow-capped peaks. I first rode through here on horseback back in 1999 while writing a book and making a Discovery Channel film, and I thought then it really was one of the most beautiful countries I'd ever visited. The country is primarily a mountainous land, rising in altitude from 400 metres in the Fergana Valley to over 7,400 metres on the summit of Peak Pobeda. More than half the country is over 3,000 metres high, while a third is permanently covered by snow. But despite the immense natural beauty of this landlocked Central Asian Silk Road Republic, it's the people themselves that bring Kyrgyzstan to life. And on many of our tours to the country, you will stay with local families with whom we've developed special friendships. So to the country and the main sights you'll see. Heading east out of the leafy, tree-lined streets of the capital Bishkek, a place renowned for its markets, monuments and an excellent museum, you'll first pass the imposing 11th century Burana Tower before skirting the edge of Lake Isikul. Here, in the far northeast of the country, you can spend a couple of days on the lake visiting the interesting town of Karakol or head to Karkara Base Camp for a bit of helicopter-assisted glacier trekking, available every year on our Celestial Mountain Action Adventure. From here, you'll probably move on around the southern shores of the lake, visiting one of the famous eagle hunters and possibly trek over one of the many magnificent passes before hitting the main road south towards China and the one last remaining ancient Silk Road caravanserai at Tashrabat. Here you can go for walks or ride one of the local horses, all the while staying in one of the traditional yurts while Nazira and her family look after you. People often ask me, where's my favourite place in the world? Well, this is right up there. Sitting on the hills above the valley is one of the most peaceful settings I know. From here, most will either head over the border to China and the famous Silk Road crossroads town of Kashgar, or head west across the mountains to another jewel in the Kyrgyz crown, Songkul. A 3,000 metre high glacier lake, some 40 kilometres in length, again it offers a great place to walk or ride among the hills and meet more of the locals. As you head further west, you come across the sensational Fergana range and visit the region around the Tajik border, particularly travelling up to Peak Len in base camp, or head down to the Fergana Valley, and the ancient Silk Road town of Osh. Many of our trips come this way as they head into neighbouring Uzbekistan, but continuing on the circuit back around towards Bishkek, you'll come to yet another wonderful region of natural beauty, Sarichi Lake National Park. At Wild Frontiers, we run both small group tours and tailor-made holidays to Kyrgyzstan. While some trips focus solely on this country, others take in Kyrgyzstan on longer journeys through the Silk Road region. It's also the place that we run one of our best horse riding adventures. Loosely following the route I took back in 1999, for those interested in equine holidays, this trip is simply sensational. As you can see, as far as natural beauty is concerned, Kyrgyzstan is unrivaled in the region. It has few political issues, it has a good tourist infrastructure, and yet surprisingly few tourists. It's a place where you can hike, mountain bike, horse ride, whitewater raft, heli trek, and all of that on a single trip with Wild Frontiers. And as from 2012, the British and many other nationalities don't even need a visa to come here. As I say, when I rode through this country back in 1999, I knew I'd discovered a gem. And so it is today. Kyrgyzstan is simply one of adventure travel's best kept secrets.